What's up guys, it's your boy Jay from JS Films and today we're gonna go over the Vinci Resolve 14 again. This time we're gonna look at the new stabilizer in the Vinci Resolve. And if you like the classic stabilizer, I'll also show you where to find that because the Blackmagic was nice enough to actually give both of it to us and not replace one of the other. So let's go ahead. This is the clip we're gonna be working with. It's shot with Blackmagic Ursa Mini 4K. This guy in Paris just hanging out, shot at 60p. Let's go ahead and play that. Uh, it's a little bit shaky and I really wanted it to be shaky for the effect. So that's what we're gonna be looking at. So let's go click the clip, go to color, and then if you're not there already, click this little icon here where the crosshair is. And we're gonna stick with the default setting. If you don't see the stabilize button here, just click here and click on stabilizer and it's gonna take you to the new one. So, cropping ratio we'll leave at 0.5. Smoothness, this is not the default, holy crap. Let's go with 0.35. I believe that's the default. Uh, we won't do camera lock, we'll click zoom, perspective for the option, and let's stabilize. Okay, so we are back. As you can see there, it's zoomed in already because it did the stabilizing similar to After Effects. So let's rewind it all the way to the beginning and press play. This is with the default settings. That's pretty freaking good if you ask me. That's really awesome. It still has a little bit, it still has a little bit of shakiness to it, so it didn't completely eliminate the shakiness, but that looks awesome. Let's take a look at the original. Click bypass, rewind, play. There we go. That's cool. See that little shake there? See if you can find it now. Freaking cool. All right, so let's go to the extreme. Let's crank the smoothness down to 1.0 and see what that does. Let's leave this to perspective. We'll go over this after this one. So let's go ahead and click stabilize again. Let's go rewind all the way back. Click stabilize. Pausing the video. Okay, so it's finished loading up. We have the smoothness at 1.0. Let's take a look. Press play. Okay, that, that, I mean, I see a little bit of warping and distortion. Let, let, me, let me enlarge this real quick. Shift F. All right, um, and then we'll go back. Press play. I mean, you can definitely see warping, but that's, I have it set to 1.0 which is the maximum settings for the smoothness. And it looks like it's on a tripod. That is crazy. Let's look at the before. Okay. That little shake there, it totally gets rid of it. Go back. That's crazy. That's insane. That is pretty awesome. I'll shut up now. Um, like I said, cropping ratio. So we'll look it over the settings real quick. Cropping ratio, if you go less, it's gonna try harder to stabilize your footage, but you have to stabilize it again. Every time you change the setting, you have to click stabilize. All right. Uh, camera lock, this setting, when you turn it on, it's actually not, see the cropping ratio and smoothness turns off. Let me just show it to you real quick. Let me, let me redo this. Let's click camera lock and then stabilize. Okay, so this is with the camera lock turned on. Let's see what happens. Wow, that's pretty cool too, but you can actually see a little bit more of warping because it's pretty much just getting rid of any movements that the camera had and just making it as still as possible. Let's go ahead and make that bigger. Yeah, you can definitely see a little bit more warping in this option. So I probably won't use this unless I don't have that much uh, shakiness in the footage. Having cropping ratio and smoothness is actually better for me if you know it's just a decent amount of shaky, but if it's not a lot, then I might turn this on. So let's go ahead and go over the perspective, similar similarity and translation perspective. Pretty much 
um, we'll check for perspective. So how you would use it is if perspective doesn't, you, uh, doesn't work for you, go down to similarity. And if that doesn't work for you, translation. And we're gonna go over these three right now in the manual so you can see what they actually are. So perspective enables perspective, pan, tilt, zoom, and rotation analysis and stabilization. But if that doesn't work out, you can turn on similarity. It enables pan, tilt, zoom, pretty much everything else but perspective. And then after that, if, if you still don't like the artifacts that it's getting, you will go to translation only and enables the pan tilt analysis and stabilization only. So you have three options you can use with the new stabilizer. Um, and we went over the rest of these options here. So now what I'm gonna do is show you where the classic stabilizer is if you don't like using this new one. So let's click on this little three button dot option thing here and click on classic stabilizer and then you're gonna see the classic one where you have cloud endpoint tracker. Um, like I said in my previous videos, I like to keep my videos short and sweet because people don't have attention span to it. If you ha I mean attention span, if you have any questions, let me know and thanks for watching.